The original R-rated version of The Meg included a scene with a talking decapitated head, the thought of which would surely delight horror fans. So why did the director leave gory stuff like this out from the final cut? Here's what he had to say. Bigger isn't always better, and gorier isn't always scarier. That's a discovery that director John Turtletop made in the midst of directing the giant killer shark movie The Meg, starring Jason Statham. Originally intending The Meg to teeter the line between a hard PG-13 and a soft R-rated blood feast, there were a lot of chunks of flesh that ended up on the cutting room floor. From the jump, The Meg was always going to be refreshingly self-aware and not afraid to make fun of itself. Why else would you cast Statham, an action superstar who has never shied away from a knowing nod or wink to the camera? But to the dismay of horror fans looking for a hefty dose of bloodshed, The Meg left much to be desired as far as graphic violence was concerned when it hit theaters in August of 2018. The real reason why The Meg didn't have the certain quota of monster mayhem many expected came down to dollars and cents. That said, it was a stark financial reality that kept Turtle Tob and crew from turning the film into a full-on gore fest. Turtle Tob lamented the fact that they had to pull back on some of the flesh chomping, telling Bloody Disgusting, we shot or even did a lot of visual effects for gory scenes. We just realized there's no way we're keeping this PG-13 if we show this. I was very hesitant to cut out a lot of blood and gore. I wouldn't have if I thought it was wrecking the story, but it wasn't. It still looked okay. One scene in particular that sounds like it would have been an instant crowd pleaser ended up raising too many eyebrows for being overly ghastly. Turtle Top told the outlet, There was a death in the movie of one of the leading characters where you thought he was still alive, and you realized it was only his head. Then the reveal that that was all that was left was awesome. But needless to say, quite a few people told us it was creepy and I had to cut it. Now with Meg 2 The Trench, set to premiere in the summer of 2023, the PG-13 formula that the original took advantage of is obviously paying off. That's the biggest Meg I've ever seen. Biggest Meg anyone's ever seen. The trailer shows Jason Statham fighting three more giant sharks in addition to the visual of a megalodon eating a T-Rex. Meg 2 is clearly going more in the direction of Jurassic Park than Jaws, opting for spectacle over straight-up terror. The move to more mammal-on-dinosaur violence begs the question of whether or not the Meg or the Meg 2 ever needed an R rating in the first place. There's a common misconception that a film like The Meg is beholden to the rating system dictated by the MPA, but that's not really the case. The Meg and its sequel were already intended to be PG-13 from the start, with little wiggle room to work with. That, coupled with the fact that the effects work needed to render more graphic kill scenes is just too pricey to justify, means that an R-rated cut of either film will never see the light of day. Since the age of physical media is coming to an end, there's simply no reason for a studio to invest more money to make an already successful PG-13 blockbuster into an R-rated feature. Turtle Top told Bloody Disgusting back in 2018, The problem nowadays with those unrated DVDs is you used to have a bunch of scenes that were easy to either shoot or leave on the cutting room floor. Now, to finish a scene costs millions in VFX. No one's going to be spending millions of dollars just to have a little extra bonus footage. Luckily, there should still be plenty of carnage when Meg 2 The Trench opens in theaters on August 4, 2023.